Um, so my name is Albert. Uh, I practice under the name Agua. Um, and my sort of rough plan for today is to do some sort of Hawaiian floral theme, uh, seeing as I'm doing a little ukulele. Um, so yeah, just going to do some cool Hawaiian flowers using some pilot pens. And yeah, hopefully it'll cool. I'm big into sort of my uh, pinks and oranges and blues, so probably pinks, oranges and blues. Uh, but there's some quite nice teals over there as well. So maybe a bit of teal in the background, but I think what I'll do is I'll test as I go and see what works best. I'll see how it goes, but I, I, I'm quite into quite clean cut lines and quite sharp edges. Um, so I, I may bleed some stuff up onto the wood and put some leaves going around it. But I might also not do that. Um, so I started by Googling a couple images of Hawaiian flowers and I found this quite iconic Hawaiian flower. I, I think it's quite iconic and looks very Hawaiian to me. And I just sketched them um, in using a pencil. Uh, after which I added some abstract shapes to the background to sort of just break it up, make it a little bit more visually interesting. Uh, after which I just coloured in those blocks of colour that I had uh, sort of outlined with the pencil. I think it's quite an organic sort of artwork. It's quite sort of loose. It's not too saturated on on the uh, on the ukulele itself. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's relatively complimentary as opposed to uh, being quite busy and quite over the top. So that's kind of what I'm liking thus far. So next steps, I'm going to take the strings off and just do a similar sort of pattern I've done on the back on the, I don't know what bits of guitars are called or ukulele is called, uh, but on the front I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to do some uh, some more flowers and shapes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna carry it on pretty much and just uh, finalize it a little bit more thoroughly. Okay, so uh, doing the front of the ukulele was quite different from doing the back, uh, really because of the fact these strings were attached in a way that we, it wasn't particularly easy for us to get them off. So I had to leave quite a lot of negative space in the design um, in, in the middle where, where the strings are, as opposed to the back, which is a little bit more complete because it's a bit of a fuller canvas. Um, the surface is a little bit uh, tricky. I think sanding the wood or priming it would have been uh, better for getting a, a more sort of flat, clean finish, which I, I quite like for my work, uh, as opposed to it being a little bit more uh, washy. So I think what worked really well with the pens is the variety of um, tips to them. So the chisel tip all the way down to the finer, uh, much more fine tip, allows you to sort of get the uh, the big blocks of colour in, like this and this, very quickly, whereas you can do the finer details, for example the tag, uh, particularly easily and uh, successfully. So you can find me on Instagram under the handle alba underscore agua. Uh, yeah, I'm relatively okay with keeping up to date with it, so yeah, we can find my stuff there.